one of our Google homepage building project. So to start out building web pages, it can be very helpful to attempt to replicate what others have already created. The Google homepage has a very simple, clean interface that will be easy for us as a starter project. So here I have created a folder called development for all of my coding projects. And inside of it, I have one called Google. This is the Google homepage. Now you can open this up in brackets by dragging the folder to the brackets icon at the bottom. If you're in Windows, then your icon will be somewhere on the screen and it will open up in brackets. You can also go to brackets, click on it, open it, and then click the open button and find the file that way as well. Now that we have it open in brackets, let's resize it to be half of the screen because on the other half of the screen we are going to open Google Chrome. First, let's create a file to be able to open in the browser. So if you right click on the left panel here, you can create a new file and let's name it index.html. In general, all web pages will have a main file that is by default called index.html that will be the home page or main page of a website. Now that we have our main file, you can see this little zigzag over here. It looks like a lightning bolt. If you click on this, it should open up the file or index.html in your browser, whatever your default browser is. If that doesn't automatically open in your browser, then you can do it manually. Just go to the location of the file in the folder, Google, that you created and then either double click on it or right click and click open or open with and right click and click open and it will open up in your default browser then resize that panel to fit in the other half of the screen so you can see live updates as you're coding great So let's start by declaring the doc type. If you remember from the last video, this is declaring what type of HTML you are going to be using. For HTML5, it's just a simple doc type HTML. Then let's type out the opening and closing HTML tags where all of our content will go. Next is our head tags. Now if you remember, this is the part that will not be shown on the page. For right now, we're only going to need a title tag inside. So let's say title is Google homepage and you can see this up at the top tab bar, the title. Now let's add opening and closing body tags. Great. So if we look at the Google homepage, you can see there's different sections. Each one of these sections has to be included in the visible area or within the body tags. So if we look Simply there's three sections here. There's the header area with the bar. You can see there's a few links and also the name of the user. In the main area, you can see it's a lot of white space. There's an image, which is the Google logo. And then there's an input field where you can type your search query. And there's two buttons below that. That's pretty much it for the main area. And then we can see at the bottom, or in the footer section, there are three links on each side, three to the left and then three to the right. So we're gonna be duplicating this. I will say about the header section, we are only going to include these three links in our project to make it simple. And these other icons we can add later as we get more advanced if we want. Great, so let's start out by including our three sections, which will be the header, the main area, and the footer. So let's make a header tag. I'm just gonna leave some space between where our content will go. And let's make a main tag. I'm just gonna use a div element here. You can think of it as a divider or as a section. And then the footer tag, where our bottom bar is gonna go. Great. Mm -hmm. 